Well, here we are mounting these lovely, well, they were lovely, white wheels on the um, royal blue chassis that's been milled and modified for the smoke gear. And Leon has done a beautiful job, and I am trying desperately not to mess it up, but it ain't easy. Uh, the wheels are mounted. And they're clocked. That's pretty amazing. And um, one thing I've noticed when I go to put these on, uh, they're bent. Uh, these are mine, so it's my fault. But they do kick in down at the at the end. This one's okay. They also have sort of an edge around them. Uh, it's just flat, okay. But I think what's happening is it's it's going to wear into this. I've, I've seen them wear in on other engines, especially the hub in the middle. Uh, and what I'm trying to figure out is a way to set this aside. I tried a washer uh, behind it, okay, like that. But that was too thick for the shoulder screws that we use to mount these linkages, the shoulder it has a limited throw to it, and um, you can't just increase it. It's machined in. So now I'm looking at just making this as smooth as I can by buffing that edge down, rounding it off, and f making it flat, and actually maybe even giving it a little bit of a bow in the middle so it kind of reaches over away and that rests on here only and behind there if it rubs behind there you don't really see it oops I, my camera skills just go to hell uh, if it just stays here you won't really see it much uh, but if it starts rubbing like in the middle then you'll start seeing the paint will go away and all we want to keep it at least on there for a, a week or two you know you think um, i did try a thinner um there it is. I had a, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't trust these motors. They just want to grab everything. Okay. Um, I know from history and experience, if you try to pull it off, everything goes flying. So just let it hang. Um, this is one of my thinner ones. I don't know what it is, but it's really thin. Maybe a 0 0.05 or something. That seemed to work, but it would still get a little grabby. So I'm guessing... Polish this down, take it down a little bit, round the edges, and get four real thin bushings. Because it's funny enough, this thing, while it's not completely hidden, you don't really see much of it while it's running. It's not, it's not that bad. Um, so buff this down, polish it down, make sure there's no kinks in the ends. It's not digging into the wheel. That's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. And that's going to take time, which is, you know, oh, let's throw the wheels on. Not, <laughs> it's just not happening. Okay. Um, so I had them on. They roll. Everything's fine. This bearing in here is a little sloppy, but I'm not going to deal with it right now. You know, I've already machined it. I'm just going to let it go. I found, of all things, I found the real original chassis that I had started on this thing. And it was actually built for the, um, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. It was built for the um, original Royal Blue Tender. And what I did was I lengthened it 16 millimeters for the extended range that we have with the Stingray, right? See that? And then see that. There you go. So I've extended it both ends. I got trucks on it. And i am got most of my uh, digital, the, the controls type stuff is on there. I don't have the soundboard. I got to print the little plate that holds the soundboard. And um, I got to program the soundboard. Oh, no, I have. No, I have two. Right, I got two ready to go. Okay. And um, then what else do I need to do? Uh, I don't know. Get the engine built. Uh, get the tender built. And then wire them. Now, wiring, that's right. Got to do the wiring. I have to finish my uh, uh, 
puff and chuff board and um, see what that's going to do. And oh boy, I tell you, it's just one thing after another. Um, and we had to take care of some business today. We had to go um, because of Margaret's foot. We had to delay our taxes. So we had to go in and make sure we had that done. We got it done. Thank God. Wasn't that bad. Yeah. Cost us a little bit, but not bad. And we got some more chicken and rice from a place. We just love this chicken and rice. We, we get like three servings of it and then we split them. We eat for three days, chicken and rice. We don't care. Uh, yes. And then what else we do? Oh, we got gas in Margaret's car. It's okay. And she walked with a walker, not the wheelchair. That was pretty exciting. She is wearing her wooden shoe, so she doesn't bend her foot, but she can put weight on her foot. That's cool, isn't it? She can bend it, but she can't. I mean, she can put weight on it, but she can't bend it. She was bending it the first few days, and I think that's what caused her trouble. Anyway, so this is where we are, and um, the day's almost over. It's 512, but I thought I'd let you see how this thing is going to look with those wheels on there. <laughs> Leon, I don't know. You may have really created something here. This is going to be fairly fairly exciting holy cow is that going to be something else isn't it we'll have to think of something to do for the pilot front and rear pilot wheels i guess i could fill them in and paint them the same but boy is that going to be something else 2014 stingray <laughs> oh my god i love it all right sorry about rattling on gotta go take care